Good evening, everyone. I'm Mick Lefebvre. The closest neighbor says he heard two shots about 20 minutes apart coming from two separate locations. Soon after, the bodies of a woman and her three young children were found in a driveway along 19 Mile Road in Cedar Springs. 39 Your Side reporter Phil Dawson is here now to explain how that timeline matches evidence collected by police. Nick, the gunfire heard by the neighbor corresponds with the location across from his house where detectives believe the three small children were shot and the location next to his farm where less than a half an hour later their mother also died of a gunshot wound. Two shots, four deaths. I heard two shots. They were loud shots. They were close. I'm uh, Dan Petrowski. I'm right in the middle. I told the cops I thought somebody was poaching. It now appears the first shot Dan Petrowski heard came from behind the house across from his farm on 19 Mile Road. 15, 20 minutes later, heard a shot come from the other direction. Investigators suspect the second shot was fired in the driveway of the Rao home next door to the Petrowski's, where a short time later, the bodies of 28-year-old Aubrianne Moore and her children, 2-year-old Elena Rao, six-year-old Cassidy Rottery and eight-year-old Kyrie Rottery were found. After you heard the second shot, did you call the police? Or? No, I there's so much shooting going on around here. You just get used to it. Police have not made a final conclusion about what happened. Murder-suicide is something that we are investigating. It obviously is one of the very um, leading things that we're considering, but it's really, really important that we look at all possibilities. Any idea on what could have led to all this? Uh, no idea, really. I can't understand how somebody could do that. The two locations where shots were fired, police call them crime scenes one and two, are connected. Aubrey Ann Moore died at crime scene one, the home of Stephen Rao, her boyfriend and father of her daughter, Eliana Rao. Crime scene two, where it appears the children were shot, is the former home of Stephen Rao's grandmother, vacant since she moved to a nursing home. Police said they cannot reach any final conclusions about what happened or even positively identify the four people who died until an autopsy is completed and those results should be available soon. Nick.